Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth Porter from the K2 Spot, giving you all a brand new video. And it's on R&B soul singer, her name is Kara. And I know a lot of people may be looking at the spelling of her name, but that's how you pronounce it, Kara. And this is her sophomore album that I'm reviewing called Indigo Sun. And it's 12 tracks of great contemporary R&B music that has a blend of R&B, soul, hip-hop. It has like a jazz pop feel to it. <clears throat> Just because if you guys didn't know. And she's an independent artist, and I have to give uh, K. Where if you watching this, K. Where if you watching this girl, you did your thing on this because I was very pleasantly surprised, and you blew me away. For this being your sophomore album, I was like, okay. But I know everybody still want me to get straight to this review, so here we go. Track number one, the first track is called Reach. It has that cosmic, uh, psychedelic um, R and B soul, R and B soul, but hip hop feel to it. And I thought it was a great way of her introducing the project. <clears throat> Especially when you get to the next two tracks, like When I Think of You, it's very hip-hop R&B. Same thing with the current single that's um, out called Spring Clean, which I love that song. And then that song's basically talking about, Spring Clean's just talking about uh, Spring Clean, like either changing your surroundings, just changing everything that you want to do, you know, in your life. And I think everybody can relate to that song right there. Now the next track is called With You, and it just has that, complete soul feel to it and I mean she's just bearing her her vocals in a great way and I feel like it's very her voice is very colorful it has different layers to them and I to, uh, to the music and I said okay uh, K Rusty what you trying to do but when we get the next track it's called Ms. Misery the only way and no guaranteed very hip hop R&B but at the same time it gives you like that up tempo, um, like dance feel to them when you hear those um, three tracks right there. And I'd say, okay. But then she started getting more um, descriptive, like storytelling when you get the songs like Picture in a Box, where I feel like it's just saying a picture in a box. And you know, sometimes they say pictures worth a thousand words, but maybe like in a box, it's a different meaning to it. <clears throat> then you get songs like The Ride, which I feel like is very, um, that's one of the songs you could just ride out to. Basically, The Ride, you could ride out to that one. And then you get the songs like Don't Want to Go, which I feel like it's just very um, very mid-tempo. I feel like it's very crossover when you hear that track. And then you have songs like um, Rain Clouds. But it's that last song. I mean, that last, last song called I Made It. It's something about that song. It's very soulful, but at the same time, it has that throwback feel to like the 90s. Like the 90s to the early 2000s when you hear that one. And I feel like everybody will definitely love that track because I feel like it's very honest, but at the same time, straight to the point of where you may feel like you made it. You know you made it, and you've had haters who try to bring you down and tell you you will never, you will never amount to nothing, and then you always come out on top and show them that, okay, I made it. You said I didn't, but that's your problem right there, and I'm living proof of what I really am, and I feel like I can definitely relate to that song right there because I've had that same situation happen where... I made it out of situations where people feel like I, was, I wasn't going to make it, I wasn't going to survive, and here we go. <clears throat> now, overall, Indigo Sun is just a, that amazing album right there. I know everybody's saying it's out on stores. I haven't seen it. It's not in stores, but I know digitally it's out, like on iTunes, Spotify, Tidal. So make sure you go, guys go out and support my girl, uh, Kara's sophomore album, Indigo Sun. And also, if you want to keep up with her, you can check out our website at um, Kara music.com and I have everything down here in the description box so you don't have to worry about trying to spell everything it'll take you straight to the link so you can check out her website show my girl mad love and also subscribe to her YouTube channel and if you want to keep up with her her Twitter her Instagram is Kara official and it's K-H-E-Y-R-A official all one word and that way you guys can get a lot of um, content and what she's up to and how here amazing how her voice is and I said wow now, if you guys want to keep up with me, and hope you guys do, I am on Twitter and Instagram at KTooks. The show that you're watching on YouTube, the KTooks Spot, it does have a Twitter page at KTooks Spot. And for those of you that like great content, like great music, and want something that you can jam to and maybe just relax to, please thumbs this video by liking it. Make sure you share the video and make sure you comment if you've heard the full album from k called Indigo Sun. Let me know what you guys really think about the music. Do you feel like she did a great job? Were you impressed by her um, melodic vocals? You know, be honest with me when you, after you finish listening to the whole album. And also make sure you please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's so simple. You push the subscribe button down here. And then you push the bell icon to get notifications for every time I drop videos. 
and you can even see some of my previous videos when I first started YouTube to up till now, just in case this may be your first time watching me, and you want to get a feel of what your boy Kenneth and the K2 Spot is all about, you're more than welcome to at your own risk, and, and I mean a good risk. And that's all I have to say, so shout out to k -Rug. shout out to everybody who's been a part of her album, Indigo Sun, and this is your boy Kenneth signing off from the K2 Spot. You guys have a blessed one. You'll see me again next time, so.